What's happening YouTube? In this video, we'll be looking at Dune Nomad rooftop tent. This particular model is the 1.4 width from Anaconda in Australia. Now, one of the reasons why I purchased this roof tent was because it is so easy to set up. Just to start, I wanted to tell you what comes in the package. So when you buy this tent, in the package you get all the mounting hardware and everything else. Some of the features that I really, really love about this tent is that it isn't the fold out style rooftop tent. It's just a hydraulic pop-up tent where all you gotta do is just pull a strap and it sets itself up. So I've got this tent on top of my Jeep Wrangler JL and because the Jeep Wrangler rooftop is just a fiberglass setup, I had to install the backbone system. Uh, one of the great things about that is I already had the backbone system because I had the Pioneer platform on top from Rhinorak, but for the purposes of installation of this tent, I actually swapped the Rhinorak platform onto these just roof rails. The reason behind that was I could have fit this up on the platform, but there was just too much hassle. Whereas these two rails were only 180 bucks extra. And given I already had the backbone system, all I had to do was swap out the platform with the roof rails. Once that was done, I was able to just use the standard hardware that came with this rooftop tent to install the tent on top of this um, uh, setup. Installation is very easy. I have a, um, a video covering the entire installation process. I will be linking that video in, this, in the window somewhere or I'll pop it into the description below. But if you wanna have a look at the installation setup, feel free to check that video out. In terms of uh, this particular setup on the Jeep, one of the great things to start this video off about this roof tent is that it actually comes with the mounting rail on all four sides. What I mean by that is you can actually install your awning or other hardware straight onto the rooftop. Let me show you what I've done with that. So if you come at the back, so what, what, what we'll do is I'll uh, ask my girlfriend to just zoom in. So Anshul, if you zoom in here, you can kind of see that there is this mounting rail here. And what I've done is I've popped an L bracket there and then I've put this awning onto that L bracket. So you can mount awning straight onto this rooftop. Um, and what we'll do now is I've done it here at the back. You've got the awning and what I'll show you is what I've done at the front as well. So um, at the front here, I've got the Rhino Rack accessory holder and that is also mounted straight onto the um, rail on the rooftop tent. What I might do is just quickly jump on here just to show you what I mean by that. All right, so my shovel here is, hold on, is, is mounted onto the Rhino Rack uh, accessory holder, and the Rhino Rack holder itself is then again mounted on directly onto the rooftop tent using an L bracket, so that's very nice. You have plenty of space to install all your accessories, your awnings and stuff like that. Now, if you come onto this side, um, on this side, this King's awning is actually mounted onto the roof rails, not on the tent itself. The reason for that was I already had a bit of extra space on the roof rail. So I was like, hey, might as well just um, mount it there. But to show you if I can, actually, if you could zoom into here, you can kind of see, I'll just wait for it to focus. Yep, so that's your roof rail there. And then on the roof rail is an L bracket. And on the L bracket itself, um, let me see if I can get it better from here on the L bracket itself. So here we go. So that's the roof rail. That's the L bracket. And on the L bracket, I've sort of mounted the awning there. There you go. So, so that's the actual setup, all 360. So I've got an awning at the back, awning on the side. I've got the shovel holder and shovel at the front and then you've got the rooftop tent. Now, what I'm gonna do is on the screen, um, I'm gonna start a timer as soon as I start uh, unbuckling this cover up, just to show you how quick and easy it is to set this tent up. So the way it's gonna work is you've got these buckles on all four sides, um, and then what you do is you just unbuckle these from every single side. For purposes of my setup, what I like doing is, uh, once it's all unbuckled, I just generally tend to fold the tent into a few folds and just leave it on the front here. Um, or overnight, you're welcome to put it in your car, but that's how I do it. So let's set this tent up. Uh, we're gonna start the timer as soon as I undo the first buckle. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna rush into it. I'm gonna give you a real life idea of how long it actually takes to undo the cover and set the tent up. So let's go in three, two, 
one. All right, the cover is off. Now, to set the tent up, super easy. Let me show you how it's done. So we've got this strap here. And Shalai, if you can zoom in onto this little loop, if you can, where my finger is. Is it visible in the video? All right, so there's a loop here that just goes under this bolt. And all you're gonna do is pull this strap down like so to bring the loop out of the nut and then you just let that let go of it there you go and that's it the tent is set up so there you have it that is how easy it is to set this tent up once it's all set up you pop in your ladder there which i'm going to show you um, in a minute how that's done. So you pop your ladder into those hooks there and then your tent is ready to roll. Up here in the tent, you've got plenty of space and a lot of area to put your stuff in. For example, once you're up in the tent and you wanna keep your dirty shoes away, you've got one pocket right here on the side of the tent. In this pocket, you've got a dedicated pocket for your shoes and in here, and you've got a bit of additional space or a drawstring to kind of close it from letting anything else go in including little quitters and stuff like that um, in addition to that you have a second pocket in here at the back which is for your keys and such it's a bit of a ventilated pocket you can put your socks in here and you can kind of see there's a bit of a mesh material here with a sock symbol because they know uh, socks will probably need a bit of ventilation so yeah your shoes and your socks go up in here and other great thing about this little pocket is that so I've already told you about this little drawstring to close it, but once it's lit here, and if you're not using it, or at the time of packing the tent, you can simply roll it, fold it like so, and just Velcro it here. This just hangs nicely there. In addition to that, if you just don't want these things hanging out, if it's raining or the weather is bad and you want your shoes and your socks for any reason somewhere else in the car, you could completely unclick these little clicks here. So, clicks here, and there you go. That's come out, you can now pop this inside your car. Um, you don't have to fight with your partner for who gets to put their shoes in, because you've got two of these. So you got one on this side, and then you've got a similar thing on the other side here as well the same story you've got your shoes you've got your uh, second pocket just under here for additional stuff so one pocket then the main pocket for shoes and then we've got the additional ventilated pocket for socks same story here as well you can just unclip these here it comes off and you can um, put it inside your car and yeah there you go now up here in the tent, you've got plenty of space and a lot of windows for the views, for ventilation and everything like that. So on either end of the tent, you've got a window right here and then uh, my partner is going to show you another window on the back there. So you've got another window there, right there. Then you also have the window right behind the entrance of the tent. So there's plenty of space for ventilation, but if that isn't enough for you, there's another flap right here. 
that you can just undo like so and it just sticks up here there you got another bit of ventilation there or if you want to look at the stars you can undo your top awning from the top of the tent and have like a clear view of the sky so that's super super nice but in addition to that you also have plenty of hooks here to hang your things or put in an LED strip light and stuff like that so you got one here you've got one at the back here then a few on the other end there um, so plenty of space in here to hang your accessories your lights and everything else you might want to um, in addition to that within the tent itself you then have further storage space so you've got one two three netted ventilated pockets here for your phones for your uh, cameras your keys or anything like that you've got a similar but a bit bigger pocket on the other end there so there's plenty of space for you to keep your things in now let's talk about the actual size of the spots right so what we're going to do is i'm going to show you what it looks like so this is 1.4 meters wide so if i lay down here i'm five foot ten i've got still plenty of space on top of my head and my feet aren't touching the other wall down there so there is a bit of a space there as well and yeah so you got plenty of space there you got plenty of space here um and um i guess i'm not the widest guy so there's plenty of space here you can kind of see how much space it is here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask my girlfriend to kind of come lay down next to me so i can show you the kind of space there she's looking at me funny there's, there's plenty of space for two people so you know heaps of space in here as well very comfortable the mattress that it comes with is the next thing i wanted to show you so let's get up um you can kind of notice that um, we've got our, our uh, double sleeping bag in here um, for those colder days and I actually keep this sleeping bag in here um, and it stays in here when I pack it. So plenty of space, you can leave your bedding in here and you can just pack everything down very nicely. And now let's talk about the mattress. So that's the sleeping bag, here's the mattress. Nothing fancy here, I'm going to be honest with you. So this is just your standard mattress that comes with your, say, um, um, your swags or anything like that. But for our purposes, I find it very comfortable. Shula has never complained. So for us, it fits the purpose. But if it is something you're not happy with, you can obviously always just get an additional topper on top of it to make it a bit more comfortable for you. But for us, it works perfectly fine because we also have this double sleeping bag on top. So there's a bit extra padding, but yeah, there you go. And because I know there's plenty of space in it and we can close it with our bedding inside and still have space between the tent and the cover. I know for a fact that you can put in an additional mattress topper and you can just keep everything in your knee and tidy and just pack it down. So there you go. I think the only thing now that's left is to just talk about these little ventilation windows here. So in addition to everything that you've got here, all the windows and stuff, you also have the little ventilation windows on either ends. You kind of see this little flap uh, that is a bit hard and sturdy, it's solid and it just keeps it open. And then to collapse it, you just kind of undo the Velcro and it just collapse. So you got two of these, you got one on this side and then you've got the other one on this side here. Same thing. In terms of what it's made of, just polyester. So it's waterproof, um, not thin polyester, it's fairly thick. So I'm, I'm hoping it lasts a fair bit, but I will obviously provide you a three month and a six month and a yearly update. Um, in addition to that, the actual top cover is very heavy PVC, waterproof, heavy duty. All right, now we're gonna show you how uh, quickly you can pack this thing down and be back on the road. So let's do that. Okay, so I apologize for the sound of the drone in the background, but I really wanted to show you how quickly you can just pack this thing up once you're done. So all you gotta do is, Sheila, if you come around here, so you've got this little strap here and that's all you need to pack this up. And that's what I love about it. So the way you pack this up is you take the strap, you pull this down like so, Remember, all my bedding is still in there. So just pull this down like so. There you have it. And once you're done, there's a loop on this strap here. So this loop here, you just pop this loop into one of the nut here, bolt, nut bolt, can never remember what it's called, nut or the bolt. So pull this down, pop it into the nut like so. And that's it, that's done. That's all packed up.
done. The next thing is to just pop the cover back on. This is packed up. You just gotta pop the cover back on and then you're, you're ready to roll. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna pop the cover back on just to show you how long that takes and we'll be back on the road. I don't really have to do the front uh, clips because I never undid them because I've got my um, shovel there. But yeah, this is it. Your tent is all buckled in. Now all you gotta do is just tighten the straps and you're ready to roll. So there you go, there you have it. Um, I think we haven't had a chance to use it for an extended period of time. We have used it a couple of times. Haven't had a chance to use it for like say weeks in a row. So we're gonna Tassie uh, for the Easter holiday, Easter weekend. We're gonna be there for about seven days, more than a week. So we'll put this to proper test there uh, for more than seven days. Every night we'll be camping and sleeping in the tent. It is a good tent, it's very easy to set up. It's a good quality tent. It's lightweight at 49.5 kilos without the ladder. And with the ladder, it's about 53.5, I think. So not very heavy uh, for Jeep particularly. And once you have the backbone system, you still got plenty of weight left to put on your awnings and stuff. So that's very, very good. Um, the width of the tent is about 1.4 meters. The actual length of the tent, I will put on the screen now because I can't remember on the top of my head. So the length should be on the screen somewhere, the dimensions. The height of the tent is supposed to be 30 centimeters, but with all the stuff in there, it's still sitting at about 28. So it's under what they quote, which is fantastic because you can tighten up the, the cover. The cover looks solid. The only feedback, I think one of the things that I've noticed is that the opening from the cover, there's a fair bit of space. So if you're on a dusty road, the dust's gonna get in. So if you look at sort of this here, this space here, or like this here, the dust can get in and I'm sure it's gonna get into the tent and stuff like that. So that's my only concern. But other than that, it's a top solid uh, tent for me in the budget category. Uh, but yeah, I will see you in my next video. Until then, you take care of yourself and don't forget to subscribe because a lot more stuff is coming. Catch you later.